welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. This video is going to be all about the things that I bought at the Sephora VIB sale this fall. It's going to be similar to the one I did in spring for the Sephora VIB sale um, in the springtime. I'm going to be going over all the things that I have been using since then, things that I've used and decided not to repurchase, things I'm loving, um, empties, etc. Um, I'm going to kind of gloss over um, the things that I have just been consist consistently using um, because I talked about it a lot in my in my spring video. It was like 40 minutes long so I'm going to try and keep this one short and sweet and just kind of go over really quick the uh, things that I've been loving that I'm a tried and true, ride or die, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then kind of spend a little more time on things that I've tried between spring and now and haven't talked about. Um, there, aren't a f there aren't many of those, but I'll go into detail on those. And then the things I don't go into detail in, please feel free to go watch the spring video that's a little bit longer. And I talk more in detail on why I love each of the products that I just keep buying over and over, like like Glow Recipe, Tatcha, etc. Those kind of stuff. Um, you'll see it. I'll show you. I'll show you what I've been using. But again, if I don't go into super long detail about all of the products, yeah, please go watch that video. It's much longer, and I'll try and keep this one a lot shorter. I'm gonna try and do rapid fire, but anyone that knows me knows that I love to talk, so I'll try and be quick. Um, I'm still loving the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dewdrops. This is the extra large value size. It's like super huge. I don't know how many ounces it is, but it's uh, mega huge. So I just got that one and that should last me a really long time. I just repurchased the uh, value size of the Tatcha Dew, uh, Dewy Skin Cream. I'm still loving this. I did take a quick break in between the last one, I the last value size and this one. Um, to try something else and I'll go into detail about that shortly but I decided to go back to this one because I absolutely love it it's tried and true and again watch the spring video um, if you want to know all the little details on why I love it so much and this isn't in order uh, in the way that I use it I should clarify I go like toner this is the glow recipe watermelon glow PHA BHA pore tight toner still uh loving this one lasts forever this might only be like my second one since spring it's not the order that i'm going in that i use it on my skin i should clarify um i'll try to put it in the description in the order that i use it just so i don't bore you here but again go watch the spring video uh for the order um i can say really quick that you know in the morning i use toner and then like a vitamin c serum which i'll show you um, whatever that is, whatever vitamin C serum I'm using, any kind of serum that I'm using, so it's toner, serum, the dew drops kind of go last, and then if I decide to do a moisturizer, like the dewy skin cream, that'll go on the second to last, and then um, SPF last last. I don't think this one was in my last video, but since spring and now, I've tried the Ola Hendrickson Banana Bright vitamin c serum um with 15 percent vitamin c and five percent phas and hyaluronic acid oh my gosh this smells incredible like you've just zested an orange all their all the ola hendrickson banana bright vitamin c products smell incredible um i don't mind scent it doesn't bother me i know that a lot of people don't like scent a lot of people like fragrance free stuff. I'm sorry it still smells, but it smells amazing. I love it. And I feel like it's made a difference between this and the Caudalie um, other one. I forget the name of it that I was raving about last time. And I have repurchased that one several times. But I just tried this one and I'm noticing a difference um, in my skin um, by using it. So I bought this in a set that I'll show you in a minute. So I'll kind of like rotate between go back and forth between this and the Caudalie one, uh, Vino Perfect with the grape essence or whatever. Both are great, um, but I'm giving this a good long try to see if this will um, work as well. And it was in a set that I'll show you in a minute that I got the VAB cell, so I might as well keep trying it for a little longer. So anyway, this is my second um, bottle. Let's try being an influencer. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, anyway, that's that um, second bottle 
just started it still love it um yeah i'll show you the rest that came in that in the set in a minute i am again still loving the glow recipe strawberry smooth bha aha salicylic serum this is still incredible for spots acne texture um all of that i think i might have mentioned that in the last video i can probably talk more about it in the last video as well if you want to go watch that and hear about it i don't use this every single day um only when i have like a spot or breakout um or particularly the rough texture but uh, pretty much every day um there'll be a spot or something so um i will use this as my serum morning or night it just depends on how stubborn the spot is something i've continued to use since the last video um i don't know if this is my second purchase of this or not but it's lasted me ages um, I don't think this is the same from spring, but um, anyway, it's lasted me a really long time. The Ola Hendrickson Banana, Banana Bright Eye Cream. Um, the hype is real, um, on smoothing at least. Um, brightening, I'm not entirely sure. You guys let me know. I feel like the color, unfortunately, is still there. I think the only way to like get rid of it, get rid of it, is going to be like filler or something. I think they're just, it's going to be the color it's going to be. But I've noticed since using this religiously, um, both morning and night, um, the smoothness under my eyes is, um, is incredible and I notice it the most when wearing makeup. Much prefer this over the Tula one, even though I do like the stick and the convenience of the stick, I feel like uh, this has smoothed my eyes, my under eyes, like lines and stuff, a lot better. This creamy texture than the gel texture of the Tula. Let's move on to the set because I'm going to be talking about the Ola Hendrickson stuff. I actually just remembered I got this um, during the Black Friday Cyber Monday sale, not the VIB sale, but anyway, one of the sales. And it was, it's $140 value, discounted to $72. And then during one of the sales, it was discounted to $50. So $50 for $140 value, that's pretty great. And because I was already trialing um, and loving the vitamin C serum and the um, eye, the under eye cream, um, I thought I would try um, the moisturizer or gel cream, they call it, but I think it's more of like a moisturizer and the cleanser. Just, just try it. So these three, these three are minis and this was a full size. So I thought um, I'll just keep on the track of this one instead of the Vino Perfect and just keep going with it because I love it and um, get all of these trials because I already love the eye cream. Try the moisturizer for extra vitamin C boosting and the cleanser, which is perfect. So I'll keep you up to date on if I buy the full versions of these, of the vitamin C cleanser and moisturizer, but so far loving these two. Oh, uh, this is a, this is a thing that I got in the, definitely the VIB sale because, uh, I needed 20% off of this, trust me. It is a mega value size of the Sunday Riley Good Jeans All-in-One Lactic Acid Treatment. Now I've gone back and forth and tried this. I've tried the, the Sunday Riley A Plus High Dose Retinoid Serum. Um, I don't think this is doing what I wanted it to do, which was like even out color and texture and hyperpigmentation and all that stuff so um it was fine but i didn't see much this is the first one that i will not probably be repurchasing out of the bunch and then i invested in uh, good jeans by sunday riley which i know is a cult following um anyway and i have tried this back and forth like several times but i really actually do see a difference um with like religious use it's lactic acid um, and it really like, deeply exfoliates the dull surface of the skin for clarifying radiance, for clarity and radiance and younger looking skin. <laughs> Visibly brightens the appearance, which is what I wanted to, wanted to do. Visibly brightens the appearance of dark spots and discoloration. So it is a super big value size. Um, I'm hoping this will last quite a while. And I have seen a huge difference in um, texture so far. By the way, I don't know if I said this is just kind of the end of the day with just skincare and sunscreen. So speaking of sunscreen, um, I'm still on the Biosense Mineral Sunscreen. I won't bore you, but I have tried 
several sunscreens in between now and spring. Um, the Super Goop Glow Screen and the Super Goop Unseen sunscreen. The Glow Screen um, did cover some of my, my discoloration because it is pigmented, the lighter of the two glow screens, but I found that it still got on my clothes and other people's clothes unfortunately. I was hoping one would like it would like sink in and stuff and not pill or whatever but unfortunately like it still did that um no matter how much I worked it in and then same with the glow screen um it didn't get in other people's clothes or my clothes it didn't do that and I did like the kind of primer feeling um but it was a little bit expensive for like how little you get and how fast I went through it and I wasn't like sold um even though I, I did like the primer like texture it didn't like do much for me and left me kind of dry and I did notice it pilled a bit but not not as much as others just I wasn't sold and I felt myself being drawn back to my moisturizing lovely biosense mineral sunscreen so I'm still on that kick I think second to last is gonna be um another like empty slash not gonna be repurchased um i was looking for a moisturizer in between you know finishing the last tatcha dewy skin cream to this one and this one was fine this is the youth to the people super berry hydrate glow dream mask with mcquay i don't know how to say that and vitamin c squalene hyaluronic acid um two fluid ounces 59 mils for this I don't know how much it was it's kind of expensive like maybe over 30 40 dollars I can't remember but um and I know the Tatcha one is expensive too but anyway and I know this is a mask and I was hoping I basically was hoping it would do more than it did I'm so sorry um the one thing that I did love 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 about this and some people might hate this but I loved how extremely smooth and almost like buttery felt I didn't know people are like oh well, you don't want butter on your skin like grease it wasn't greasy it was like smooth as like butter if that makes sense um and it was absolutely dreamy and gorgeous on the skin so i'm not knocking it i might i might buy this again one day but for like that thirst quenching deep moisturizing the dewy skin cream is still my ride or die and that's why i keep repurchasing the value size and loving it and this i tried and i do do love but again, I think I was hoping it would do more than it did, if that makes sense. The last product I bought in the VIB sale, I think, or this, yeah, VIB sale, yeah, was this value pack of my lovely um, chemical peels, um, extra strength daily peels from Dr. Dennis Rose. Again, I talked more in detail about it in my last video. I will just touch on it again. I absolutely love these. Um, they leave me my skin super um, texture free, smooth. Um, I see a huge difference in um, the reduction of acne and discoloration and pores and everything. And I feel my skin is calmed as well with the dual like um, the dual pads and stuff that you get. And the reason I mention it is not just like oh I repurchased it because I did repurchase it and love it. Um, I got it on the sale with the value pack which I'm not sure if they're doing anymore but I hope they are is this the the 60 pack of the extra strength with free 35 pack so you're paying for the 60 but you get an extra 35 for free so and I just dropped it okay great anyway I think that's telling me to wrap it up and then the last last thing I want to mention that has really really transformed my skin is the PMD Microdermabrasion Pro. Oh my goodness. This is like having an esthetician um, in your house or like you are the esthetician or like going to the spa all the time. I absolutely love it. Um, you gotta be super careful. But basically what it does is it exfoliates and vacuum suctions um, all of the dead bits and stuff off your skin. The reason you do it is because once all the dead and dull skin is removed, skincare products can penetrate significantly deeper, maximizing their benefits, which I definitely want my products to do with how much I spend on them, you know what I mean?
So I feel like this, this along with perhaps the Sunday Riley, but I got this before that. And this, I think this has been like the game changer in the texture and the pore size, not pore size, because you don't really change your pore size, but the gunk and stuff that you get in your pores, like um, how visible your pores are and the texture of my skin, making it super, super smooth. I think this has been a game changer in that. Now you have to be super, super careful um, with it because if you hold it over one part of your skin for like even a little bit too long or repeat use over it, you will totally get a bruise. You will take off several layers of your skin, not right away, but you'll see it the next day. It'll be bruised. It'll be dry, like a, you will have a scab. I've done it a couple times by accident where I kind of dried my skin out, taking a couple layers off. So like, it'll just kind of scab over and create like a little bit of a rough patch, even though like you're meant to create like the smooth, lovely texture after, it'll then do the opposite because I might have held it over that one part a little too long. Anyway, I'll try and wrap it up. But um, this I think is a huge, huge game changer for anybody looking to really like transform the um, texture of their skin, you know, get all the gunk out of their pores, help with discoloration, hyperpigmentation, even like help it keep it clean for, you know, the sake of acne and stuff like that would be great as well if you have those kind of issues too, keeping your skin nice and getting all the dead stuff out of the way too. So um, I got this on the sale because, um, oh no, no, no. I'll retract all that. I'm sorry. I got it at the uh, Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. I'm so sorry. Okay. It was during the t Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, um, like half off. So it was like 100 and I got it for 50 or something. Um, it was close to my birthday. So I might have had a gift card. Anyway, they're always on sale somewhere. I really hope you can get this at a discount somewhere. If I find a discount when I'm posting this, I will definitely leave the link below. Um, either way, it's a great way to get points at Sephora, you know, like rack up those points. Anyway, if you, you know, maybe ask for this for Christmas or your birthday or whatever, but anyway, great, great investment. Um, use it carefully, you know, read the direction. It is very fun to use and you do see a massive, massively noticeable difference if you use it consistently as in like once a week, not every day. No, 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 no. You will F up your skin if you do that. But anyway, this along with like the retexturizing kind of products, the exfoliants, all that kind of stuff. And by the way, I haven't mentioned any of this cleansers that I still have been using, but I've still been using the Tatcha rice cleanser, the Glow Recipe Papaya cleanser, whatever it's called, balm, you know, cleansing balm, and the La Roche-Posay um, for dry skin, you know, so I'm still loving those. I just haven't featured them because it's a pain in the ass to get out of my bathroom and present them here. But basically, just know that I'm using all those cleansing products still and loving them and trialing the Ola Hendricks one. Ola Hendrickson one. So anyway, um, that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stuck around for the whole thing. Um, my camera says it's 26 minutes. I hope I shorten that down in the edit, but we'll see. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and stick around for uh, Vlogmas. I'm going to try and do Vlogmas. I don't know when I'm going to post this. Um, maybe the first or second day in December and then continue on with Vlogmas until December. So hope you su like this video, subscribe down below, turn on the notifications to get notified whenever I post a video. Hopefully it'll be more frequently during December and I can get back on that posting train in the new year as well. Hope your December is kicking off to be a great one and I will see you in the next video. Happy holidays. Bye.